Welcome to the Cop Shop Podcast, our weekly compilation of police report oddities and curiosities with host, Telegraph reporter, Joe Kovac Jr. On a recent afternoon at the new Fillmore Thomas Park on Log Cabin Drive in West Macon, some women and their children had an outing. While the kids played, one of the women was on her cell phone trying to find a job. The woman on the phone, 50, said another woman, 26, walked up behind her. The older woman later told the police that the younger one, quote, started hitting her in the head with a pair of shoes with flat heels on them. Details of the June 19th episode were noted in a Bibb County Sheriff's report. The shoe-wielding woman was also said to have yelled that the older woman had been, quote, talking bad about her on Facebook. The older woman later told the cop shop that no such thing happened, that she hadn't been on Facebook, and that the attack was unprovoked. The younger woman was jailed for battery, the report said, adding that, quote, the flat-heeled shoes will be placed in the crime lab as evidence. A 43-year-old woman was caught cramming clothes in her purse at a West Macon Walmart on June 20th. According to a Bibb County Sheriff's report, the woman was at the Harrison Road store when a security man there spotted her leaving without paying for items that included pants and four polo shirts for boys. The alleged theft was recorded by surveillance cameras. When a sheriff's deputy got there, the woman was, quote, trying to argue that she had not meant to steal the clothing, but rather she forgot she put the clothes in her purse. That's according to an incident report, which went on to say, quote, after that argument failed, she tried to say that what we were seeing on the video was not what happened. When the woman realized the deputy wasn't buying her story, she then began to shake and claim that, quote, she could not breathe. The report went on to say, quote, she then fell on the floor and told us she was having a panic attack. She continued to shake and cry and claimed that she was going to throw up and, quote, even dry heaved into a trash can for at least 10 minutes. An ambulance arrived and medics checked her vital signs and said, quote, she seemed to be medically fine. She was taken to a hospital, but a theft warrant was issued for her arrest. And now from our dispatches files. A woman in South Bibb County called the cops about an argument that she and her husband had the night of June 8th. As a sheriff's report put it, the woman said, quote, one of their puppies had an accident on the dining room floor and she wanted her husband to clean it up. The husband said he'd do it after he fixed something else, but the wife, according to the report, quote, got mad and went to the bedroom and slammed the door. <laughs> Back on June 3rd, a Bibb Sheriff's deputy chased down a shoplifting suspect who darted into some woods near the Flash Food Store on Pianono Avenue down below I-75 in South Macon. The suspect, 49, was said to have taken a $5 bottle of Smirnoff Ice Orange Burst from the store. When the deputy caught up with the guy, the guy was in fact carrying a bottle of the sweet tart beverage and as the deputy's write-up added, it was, quote, very cold to the touch. The man was jailed on theft charges. And let's see, a woman who, quote, began to get smart at the mouth, end quote, was making a scene at the Burger King on Gray Highway in East Macon recently. A sheriff's report said the woman was asked to leave the eatery, but that then she, quote, got loud. Asked again to vacate the premises and to be quiet, she said, This is my mouth! This is my mouth! <laughs> Even so, she was jailed for disorderly conduct. 